Let's get started. <laughs> Clever comrade. Fun fact. Do you know that I have 69 strength enhancer quirks? Oh, that's very nice. Alright, let's begin. Before we start, I'm going to answer a little question. Why do we make rant videos? Actually, we used to make standard MHA recaps long ago, without the stupid ass animations you see today. Those just got buried under the sea of MHA recaps and barely got any views at all. So we gave up and switched to rant videos, this time with the animations. For some reason people liked it more. And the rest is history. Going back to the manga. Now for this video we are gonna be focusing mostly on Deadline. But before we focus on Deadline, I'm going to ask a question. What happened to Troy? Painted? Empty! It's empty you oh. idiot! The place gave off insane this place is going to get ambushed vibes, and then nothing happened. None of the portals even led to it. The closest we get to this, is this building behind DJ. But it's clearly very different from Troy, not to mention it doesn't even have a tag unlike the others. So what happened to Troy? It became a blink and you'll miss it feature, just like Miss Mind Layer's existence. But what about enough of this bullshit? we got some bashing to do. So Deadline is a self-proclaimed demon king, and he's literally always talking about it. And since he's always talking about it, people are expecting him to be a real threat. But instead of the ultra badass demon lord he's hyped himself up to be, we get an ultra dumbass clown lord instead. In a span of around a couple of chapters after the final fight began, the great demon lord went from being totally plot irrelevant to being the second biggest failure in the entire manga series. Starting with him being tricked by two kids in a parking lot. And then he took the fail and pushed it further. His air cannon is now so f***ing weak it's easily blocked by simple sound waves. And if it does hit. It barely does any damage. The people on the ground didn't even notice it fired. And not just his air cannon. The spike attack looked like it barely even affected the heroes at all. He's being pummeled by two top heroes and two kids all while blabbering on and on and on about how everyone's useless. What a f***ing joke. <laughs> and then in this chapter he literally got destroyed and incinerated. He had fun pissing off Compensator, but when the hero finally got pissed off and started whooping his ass, Deadline had no way of countering him. This delusional dumbass idiot clearly has no idea what he's doing. This chapter is intended to be serious, but Deadline is so much of a f***ing joke that it quickly turned into a try not to laugh challenge. But then again he's so f***ing pathetic I don't even know whether to laugh or cry. He literally can't do anything. But not all is done yet as Deadline has a trick up his sleeve. A rewind quirk to hopefully restore his physical self. That's good and all, but the main problem here is not that he can't take damage, it's that he can't deal damage. So what if he rewinds himself back to his prime, if he's still the same incompetent delusional dumbass loser as before? But inside you're still the same old mean salty angry ogre you always been. Yeah. Remember that this is the same idiot who lost against Superman the second time because he never learned to bring any defensive quirks. This is the same idiot who challenged a reality warper without preparation. And now we are in the finale and he still barely has any defensive quirks. What the f*** this f***ing loser just won't f***ing learn. I can't. I, I simply can't. And to further ramp up his loser status. This fight played out exactly like his previous ones. With him barging into the sea. Getting totally annihilated minutes later. And then pulling off insane mental gymnastics to justify his loss. What a loser. Back to the rewind. Rewinding back to Demon Lord Prime will carry no impact at all. Since he barely did anything in the first place. He's built up to be the strongest villain who ever lived. But looking closely you'll see that he never actually accomplished anything. His successor is literally the most f***ing useless garbage villain ever to exist in anime. Deadline is literally just one big massive embarrassment. He's not even powerful either. This guy can literally mimic most of his quirks. 
So yeah deadline is really f***ing weak and pathetic for a pseudo final boss. But always remember he's just a bunch of pixels in a digital canvas displayed on the screen of your chosen electronic device. His insane dumbassery and patheticness is only a small part of a far bigger issue in MHA. And that issue is the creator's inability to write actual threatening villains. He's been writing the manga for years now and there's not a single time a villain actually seriously threatened the heroes. You would think that the final fight would be the most challenging fight of them all. But it's actually the exact opposite. This gotta be the easiest fight in the manga. Deadline and Sunbut's attacks barely scratch their targets. The entire army is a bunch of loser nobodies that can't win against anyone. Bird brains are off screen. Libra is a Mary Sue so let's not talk about her. Handerman used to be able to damage heroes, and now he straight up can't do anything anymore fellow reptile is basically the only one who noticeably got stronger. But in a story sense, you shouldn't really give a crap about him anyways. So yeah. The creator can't write villains for sh**. Deadline's not the only one who's extremely pathetic and weak. It's literally 99% of them. But before we end, I'd like to talk about this scene for a bit. High chance this is gonna be the flying bird brain with the ability to detach pieces of itself. If I'm correct. Then the creator made it go away because Telly obviously can't win against it. For short, he's planning the Telly and Libra fight more so than deadlines. Hey deadline. Fun fact. Do you know that the average view time of our videos is only 2 minutes? Huh? That means you can say something here and no one would even hear it. Okay. I actually only have 68 strength enhancer quirks. Well that's not very nice. But hey at least people won't hear that.